As scientists continue to closely observe nesting behavior, they're discovering there's much more to incubation than was previously thought. In the woods of Oxfordshire, the tits are about to lay. How exactly do they care for their eggs? Like most birds about to start incubating, this female great tit has shed the feathers from a patch of skin on her abdomen. It's known as a brood patch. By controlling the flow of the blood in its naked skin, she can regulate the amount of heat she gives to her eggs. The next stage of her incubation strategy is perhaps surprisingly to stop doing so. One egg a day. That's how most birds lay. So this clutch has taken eight days to produce from the first egg to the last. The cool temperatures of the woods is not high enough to start their development. So while she's still producing eggs, she doesn't incubate them. If she starts them off together, then they will all hatch together. And that will enable her to care for her chicks as a group when they're all at their most vulnerable. It's now that her behavior becomes more complex than researchers first thought. Scientists working in these woods have recently made a discovery. Great tits are controlling the speed at which their eggs develop in response to the weather. As we all know, there's nothing less reliable than a British spring. Some days are cold and grey. That is when we might expect that her eggs need to be kept warm. Other days, it might be sunny. Perhaps a chance for the birds to spend less time on the nest. But new research is revealing that exactly the opposite is what happens. On warm days, perhaps surprisingly, parents incubate for longer than they do on cold days. So when it's warm, development of the egg speeds up. When it's cold, it slows down. The research into why the birds are apparently being so contrary is being led by Dr Ella Cole from the University of Oxford. We've recently discovered that by varying the amount of time they actually spend incubating eggs each day, they can manipulate their hatching date. And they do this so they can find enough food um, for their chicks. This is the caterpillar of a winter moth. And each chick will need to eat about a thousand of these in the first two weeks of its life. That means in turn that the parents must time the incubation of the eggs so that when the eggs hatch, there will be a glut of these caterpillars around. That caterpillar peak lasts just two short weeks and warmer weather starts it earlier. So by taking their cues from the weather, the birds ensure that their eggs will hatch at exactly the same time as their food appears. It's quite uh, remarkable that the tits are actually able to do this fine scale adjusting, um, even in the sort of late stages of incubation. Laying an egg enables the birds to do something a mammal can't. The parents, in fact, have some control over when their eggs will hatch. <laughs> 